We have dogs come to live with us until the end of their life and we make sure that the end of their life is full of love and caring, lots of attention, and make sure they get all the medical care they need. They come to us from uh, their rescues or folks who can't take care of them anymore. Maybe someone's going into a nursing home or a family member's passed away. So those dogs come to stay with us and there's no longer any worries that they're gonna be passed along again. This is the, this is the end, but it's a happy end. So we have Freddie, Logan, Jenny, Monroe, Sugar, TT. We have dogs who can't walk on their own, so we have two, Happy and Vicky, and they have little carts so they can go out in the yard and run and get some exercise that way. And we have dogs who are incontinent, dogs with cardiac problems, respiratory ailments, and so we just get them the best care that we possibly can from whatever specialist they need. <gasps> Who's a good baby? It's pretty costly. Like this little guy, he probably cost us about $8,000 with very severe dental surgeries, and then he got an infection in his spine. It could have possibly come from the infection in his mouth. And so with the help of the short-term care that we had money in our bank account, and then our supporters helping us, you know, kind of top it off so that we could pay for it, Spencer is now recuperating and doing fine. And he's only 12, so we hope he'll be with us another 8 or 10 years. Maybe. <laughs> I usually get up about six in the morning and the dogs need you right away. You have to get them out, do the feeding, medications, get them all back out again. Then I need to go downstairs to the kennel area and take care of the dogs who are visiting with us. So you figure there's 24 or 25 residents plus another 10 or 15 and they all need something. So that keeps me busy. Then the volunteers start arriving usually around 11. Vicky first. Okay. And it was hard for me at first to have people coming and help, but now they're like family. And they do everything. They poop, scoop the yards, do the gardening, and have flowers and beautiful little gardens everywhere. They do the housekeeping, help do the medications, get baths, grooming, you name it, they do it. What? Whoops, come here. Nobody's neglecting you. I'm the one that will transport dogs to the emergency hospital or to outside in an emergency to the vet's office. Cher never leaves the house. She's always here. I might go out in a year, maybe four times, but not to movies or, or to a restaurant. I would be too nervous thinking, you know, is this one okay? Is that one okay? If I do leave, it does cause something in the house when I'm gone, so, so I worry about that. One of the duties that I like least is I am usually with the dogs when we say goodbye to them. We always want to be there with the pets. We never let them leave this world alone. They're loved until the very last moment and beyond. We started putting pictures up as dogs passed away, just kind of will put their picture up here. And of course, over time, there became more and more pictures, so we started calling it Stairway to Heaven. We never forget them. We never forget them. They're always with us.